All right. Morning. Here we are. Morning. Out fishing with Aaron Schmolt, owner of Equipped Fishing. See that fancy logo on his shirt? If you want to get one of those, you can go to equipfishing.com. Hey, guys. And uh, let's see, September 2nd, we decided to get the boats out um do a little fun fishing we talked about going fishing together and we said you know what let's both get our boats out do a little challenge we're on a little metro lake little tiny gem hopefully hopefully uh neither one of us have been on it uh we heard it was good <clears throat> it's probably what 300 acres roughly roughly yeah, yeah. take a little gander what this looks like the wake boats behind us are about ready to get going so nobody's wasting <laughs> any time on labor day here uh, we're going to do a three fish tournament four hours at 7 30 we can go to 11 30. Uh, we'll weigh them on our rapless scales when we get in um i don't know what do you think what do you what's uh yeah um i mean it's a uh, pretty nice morning pretty uh pretty calm out there as you can see um roughly about call it just shy of 70 degrees um so it's uh, it's getting to the bit be that fall time where things are going to start turning um, we'll see if that started now or if it's still ahead of us but it should be hopefully a fun day yeah so we're both going to shoot some footage try to combine a video see what we come up with hopefully catch a couple hogs and uh let's see how it goes i'm excited haven't been out neither of us have been fishing in a few weeks got the itch uh so let's get after it and uh hopefully we won't suck too bad today let's do it so took a quick cruise on the lake um looked on the map there's like a really prominent point here that's like the biggest point on the lake uh side imaged it quick uh the grass doesn't come out as deep as i thought it only you know it looks like the grass only comes out i don't know six eight feet here um it looked like it got a little harder bottom there maybe went to gravel looks like there's a little bit of clumpy weeds with maybe a little bit of gravel a little bit of rocks in there we're going to try that first and uh try a few deep spots i did see there's milfoil in the lake by the boat ramp um so flipping that could definitely be an option i did see some reeds and cattails right over here that looks good so i think we might try this one deep spot I might try that little cattail point over there before the sun gets too high. And then from there, we'll just see what the fish tell us. So let's do this. Not feeling as much grass as I thought there'd be. This is the same trailer I was using on Island, or same jig I was using on Island Lake. Too lazy to retie it, but I am going to put on a little bigger trailer that moves a little more water for these large volatiles. Slightly dirty water. So. Try going up a little shallower on this point. Top water, see if there's any milfoil up shallow, and then we're going to bounce off this spot. picking me up in there. Got a tiny bass, the bass don't want to eat, or a big bluegill. Fish number one, we're hooked up. He's not big, but I guess he's a start. And he did not want to eat my jig. Not a bad fish. But hopefully we're catching some bigger ones before the day is over here. We'll put them in the box just in case because this is the first time we've ever been on this lake. 
I kind of thought they'd be biting this morning, but it appears they're a little finicky because that fish bumped my jig twice, <clears throat> didn't get it, and then I really had to soak that worm in there to get him to eat, so that's weird. I might have missed one under that tree. So weird. <clears throat> There's a better fish there. There's a decent one here. Don't jump four. Willow trees, you say. This is one of the right ones. Not let him throw it. He, he mad. He mad, son. Cut myself with my top water. Crisis averted. I kind of got a big head on him. Nice fish here. Right under that willow tree. You get three of these, it'll make Schmolke work a little bit. Touching under a willow tree like that makes me think that just maybe <clears throat> I might need to fish the backs of the docks. Some of the shallow milk I've been thinking about getting a buzz bait out. Until then, I'll probably just swim a jig, see what happens. Trust in our gut. We're gonna try this toad toad or bug bait. Wake boards are out. Good time. But he number three, put him on the little side for a little short ride. Barely a keeper. He's just been attacking my worm. I finally caught one of them. Salting it. Right here for this GoPro.
time to move. A little bass on the old buzz bait. Not going to help us. Oh, we caught one on it. Cable. We just broke our trolling motor cable, so I can still steer it by hand or with my remote. Um, so we're going to keep fishing, but we're going to need to get that fixed. We are just over halfway. Got one good fish, a couple small fish we've upgraded once or twice, but <clears throat> nothing that's really gonna matter. So broken trolling motor cables. The weeds don't come out real deep here. It'd be pretty hard for me to cover water with a broken trolling motor cable uh, out deep and be effective. So I'm gonna try to run this bank here and see if we can figure something out and uh, keep our head down. fish here. A little better. Well, I don't really think this guy <clears throat> picked up about a pound. Isn't that general to work? Check our line. Feels pretty good. in on this lake. I got my worm. I don't think he's gonna help. Get my life out of that general. Got these little wacky bands. He's doing a good job. little one. Well, at least we got two pounders in the box now. 
The ones we're getting rid of is a little better now. Got that pad bite dial? Oh, got fired. I broke one of my trolling motor cables. Oh no, really? So I can only turn right and then <laughs> I can main you can still manually turn it? Yep. Oh that's nice. That's nice. I'm not quite as efficient as I could be. Yeah. You got your three? Cool. We got three. One hour to go. This I is our 75% check in here. Yeah. Interesting lake. What's that? Interesting lake. Yeah, it's got a lot of, I mean. Grass is definitely not as deep as I would expect I mean, it to what's be. What's interesting about it is like, the pads are everywhere, right? But there isn't much grass. Like, I would say off the bank grass. Yeah, it goes to like five, maybe six feet. Yeah. And it's not even like that great. And it's all like pretty scattered too. I've actually had quite a few like short bites on a jig and then I had to throw back in there and catch them with the fucking worm. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, thought, they'd be, of I thought they would be chowing. <laughs> What's that? I thought they'd be eating today. Ah, uh, right? Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I haven't really had a, a ton of bites. I have called three times. Have ya? <laughs> Woo, doggy. So they've given up the dream of fishing deep now that my trolling motor is one directional. Yeah, that's, that sucks. Door's wide open. Just gotta take it. There we go, man. I mean, a giant something was huge that just swirled on my jig and wrapped me around a train and just, wow. I mean, it made a huge swirl in there. Put the hammer down. Now that I'm out in the deeper water and taking a look at what I'm seeing, I'm surprised it's not out here. How'd it go? I, think it, uh, <laughs> I got broke off twice. A one, a one on a tree, like on that bank yep. that you came up, yep. like back behind the pads, I went in there and like threw my, yeah. and then right here at the end, I threw under a jo dock with my jig and I kind of like pulled it over a bar and a fish just went, Woof! like I could hear it. Oh really? And it went, Rrr! and I went, <laughs> <laughs> I mean he just ate my, I mean he just, smoked. Yeah. he just, I'd, maybe if I had braid on, maybe, but I don't even know if that would have mattered, I mean, yeah. Yeah. it was a big fish. You gotta make it official. You gotta make it official though. You can't be like nope. fake Scott Martin Talon. <laughs> Dude, it was uh it was a hell of a day for uh, one pounders, that's for sure. Definitely I feel like there's some big ones in here. There's got there's there's gotta be some. I caught one I mean the, the fish I got are I got a couple decent ones and they kinda got that like big looking head on them. Mm -hmm. Like they kinda got that there's vibe. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's some bigger ones here, like all right, digging deep in those ranger live wells. These are all frogfish, according to Aaron Schmolt. Are you getting them on the old, the old uh, toad runner with the flappy tail? Oh, look at that one. Uh oh, no. oh man, that could have been big. They weren't this hard to catch the first time. You could probably turn your pumps off and everything, and they'd be a little easier to see. Oh, there's oh, number yeah. two. Get hyped up. This is why you come to Secret Lake, so you catch big ones like this. Maybe should make sure we get all the water out of this bag. <laughs> He's on the big side now. Watch out. 
He's on the big side. A little better fish. Not a giant, but he's a little better. Alright, I don't like your chances, Aaron. I don't like my chances either. But we're gonna make it official. Alright, the official calibrated Rapala scale with added bag weight, which is gonna make this look even better. Probably gonna add a pound. Five pounds. Those are some jammers. Five four four is the mark to beat. Alright. That would be nice if it was one fish. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. There. All right. Flipping it around. Fair. <clears throat> Go that way. <laughs> All right. On the little side. Oh ho ho ho! What's this? Someone found some decent fish. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. And there's your yeah, there's your kicker. That one later might have been a little bigger than I think there's a lot of suspense here. Um, the writing's on the wall. And bang. Yeah. Oh, we are almost nine pounds with the... Oh, nine. Ninety-five. Nine. Alright, looks like eight ninety-five. Lock it in. Lock it in. Alright, let him go back in the lake. Alright. Swim away. So what did we learn today? Well, <laughs> I learned a whole lot today. So uh, I started deep. How about you? What did you try first? Yeah, I started uh, up shallow. I pretty much stick shallow most of the most of the time. Um, didn't really want to spend too much time scanning, which was probably the wrong choice. But um, but yeah, no. I was working pads all day long um, with uh, with frog, with frog, and then mixed up docks in there with uh, a senko and then and a jig, but couldn't get bit on the, on the docks like uh, in that much here yet. So what kind of, were you throwing that winding frog there, the toad runner? Yeah, the, the toad runner. So you're throwing a black toad runner, the booyah toad runner with a little flappy tail built in, it's like a buzz toad floating frog. Oh, that would have been awkward. All right, yeah, we fit, we started deep. We tried one point, we grasped it, we saw a little bit of hard bottom, a little bit of weeds. I wasn't overly impressed with how deep the weeds were on this lake. Um, Probably the bigger fish probably are still deep, first of September. But fish are moving this time of year. And then uh, I went up on top of that point and then instantly caught a fish and then instantly caught that pretty nice one on a willow tree. Um, they didn't really seem real active this morning for me. Like they would pick up my jig and spit it and then I have to throw uh, a, you know, a stick worm in there to get bit. So I don't know, I probably caught eight keepers maybe. So yeah, it wasn't wasn't fast and furious, but I don't know. We tried a new lake, learned something. I kind of like this lake. I think there's some big ones. There's plenty of uh, boat traffic out here, but I think I'll come back here again. I can imagine in three four weeks when this what milfoil here kind of lays down, the shallow bite could be really good here. Yep. But yep. Uh, we're gonna stay out fishing. We're gonna send Schmolt packing. He's got to go home and work on the honeydew list. And uh, yeah. all right. Thanks, everybody. Right, all right, we'll Talk do it again. Fun. Let's do it. Make sure you like, comment. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss another video. Stay tuned and help you help you sec plus.